Hello everybody and welcome back to the goalie be a pro. I thought we were doing better than we are. That top right corner is looking all sorts of disgusting right now. And to make matters even worse, we're going up against the 5-0-0 Columbus Blue Jackets. So this will be a contest and a half. We are 73 overall in the NHL. So, I mean, we're probably not going to have the best stats this year. That is... My prediction. I just realized our brand is minus 150. That is unacceptable. But let's go ahead and view the lines here. See what our team is made up of. We've got Vetrano playing with Trevor and Troy. Nice. Also, I know that Bia Pro does usually have some whack roster. We better have Leo Carlson somewhere in the system. Otherwise, I'm going to be fuming. Defensively, we've got Fowler and Jamie Drysdale. We've got medium elite potential. We don't have a very solid team. I understand why they had the first pick. Sorry, second pick. I can't give myself that much credit. We weren't drafted first overall. I wonder who was. Is there a way to see that? Does mine say 2023 first? Because maybe it was Bedard that went over me. But I feel like he's just assigned to the team. So I don't think he was a part of the draft anyway. Yeah, for me it says 2023 first round second. So maybe? I don't know. Either way, I'm just realizing now Gibson's injured. That's unfortunate. Perhaps that is why we are starting against this stacked Columbus team. But no more putting it off. We have to face the challenge head on. Here we go. Who's going to strike first? Hopefully it is the Mighty Ducks. We're definitely out shooting them, but we are not outscoring them. Nice. Love that for me. Seven shots and a goal. Second period. Can we please do a little bit better? I mean, I guess I could... Try to aim for a 900 save percentage in the first year, but again, that's going to be tough considering the team that we are on currently. Like, they're going to be good in the future, but right now, not so much. And we are 73 overall. Max and Trevor, you absolute legends. Time for me to go in and blow this lead. Can we hand the Columbus Blue Jackets their first loss of the season? The boards look really cool, by the way. There's a save on the backhand. The lead penalty, yes. We're also going to the power play. So not only are we up by one, but now we have a chance to make it two. Or they can come in and score. That would have been a goal. Whoever picked that off just saved the day. Because there is no chance I was getting over in time for that. Nice tip. Good save, though. Provorov has it in the corner. Where's our... Guys, we're on the power play. Get in there. Off the post, the puck meets Irene. Vitrano has it. Come on. We're getting so many good chances, but their goalie is playing outstanding right now. He does not want his team. They're just so slow. The dump-ins never used to be that slow. So far, I feel like I've seen pretty mixed reviews about the goalie tethering system, which is exactly what I expected. Some people are going to like it. Some people are not. At least as far as I've been told... There should be an option in a coming update. So close to disable tethering if you want to. So, yeah. It's going to be optional, which I think is probably better. And we are absolutely all over this team right now. No! Provorov up to Boone Jenner, and now here comes... Look, I can't talk. I don't know what's going on. But, like, every single time I've tried to speak so far today... It has not worked in my favor. Are we getting another power play? Holy. Can we score on one of these? That's not asking for too much, right? I think that's reasonable. We actually have a five on three for a few seconds here, but we'll not get any offense on that because here comes Columbus Roslovic with a shot. How are we going to let them get a shot on a five on three? All of you are fired. Every single one of you. I don't have that. Never mind. You're, you're fine. Forget anything I was just saying. We're chilling. It is a 3-1 hockey game. No. Texier, you know I have to do it. I have to do it! And it works out again! Where is this thing? Let's go. I trapped six behind me. Sorry, Jamie. But Mason back the other way to Strom in the middle. Nice pass down low, but he collides with the goalie. And somehow no one stepped up to uh, stand up for the netminder there. Our team better. I'll do it myself, obviously, but it'd be nice to know that the boys have my back. Texier goes across. Oh, my word, was I out of position. Wow, I slid way too far there. 
Back to the point it goes. Wierenski goes back door. Back to Severson. Holy crap, this thing is bouncing around. I wasn't scared for even a second. I don't know what you're talking about. Kent Johnson gets saved. And back it goes to the point. Holy. They move the puck so quick. I'm starting to see why they're 5-0. and Trevor? What a shot. All right. We are up by three goals now. He is gassed. I could really want to see the replay to be honest with you he comes in does like almost a back pedal and then just sends it home oh this camera angle looks nice bing yep beautiful looks like the columbus is out of gas i'll be here for another couple games big save send it out to braun who please get rid of it but technically he did get rid of it did he send it right across the crease? Yes. But I didn't say not to do that. What a hit. Looking pretty good for us right now. Again, not counting this as a win just yet. Things do happen. I don't know if it really happened so much in recent Be A Pros. I know in like my NHL 14, 15 Be A Pro, I could get scored on eight goals in 20 seconds. Has it really been happening? In the modern NHLs, thankfully. However, those scars are still there. And I still feel like it is possible. So, it's in the back of my mind. No matter what. Oh my goodness, Roslovic just got leveled. And, they took another penalty. What an undisciplined team. Also, what sore losers. You're going to lose your first game of the season and you just start acting up. Elvis has nothing to do with this, and I'm still tempted. I am still going to do it. Let's go! Is this my... This isn't my first NHL fight, is it? No, I don't think so. All right. <laughs> the way he's skating. That's kind of intimidating, actually. All right. Here we go. Bring it on. That's... Uh, I let you have the first punch, because I felt bad. All right. And dodge. Uppercut to the chin. Do it again. You won't. Dodge. I want to go for the tuck, but it's so hard, I feel like, now. Yeah, it never happens, almost. All right, and there you go. Actually, it never happens in general, because I don't think I've ever... How do you dodge off of a... Anyway, still undefeated. Just saying. 8-1, you might want to move. All right? Same with you, 4. Cam, I'm not kidding. That was a big hit, too. Holy, this game's been real physical. Texier headmans it to Johnson, who's in over the line, loses it as soon as he crosses the blue, and Cam, the man who would not get out of my way, <laughs> picks it up. Maybe he was giving Scott like a little pep talk almost, you know? Just saying like, good fight. You don't need to fire the boys up right now because we are up by three, but you're still undefeated and you're sick. And I was like, thanks, Cam. One final shot. Marchenko goes for it. He can't get it off though. And that will be all she wrote for this one. A big dub over the undefeated Columbus Blue Jackets. And we have ourselves finally a solid performance. Yeah, 25 shots and only one goal. That is a massive dub. Second star, 960 save percentage. Are you kidding me? I forgot about the flying poke check. I've already had to tell James to zip it twice. But look at all the green. Absolutely beautiful. We are not going to use that just yet. Boston is 4-1-1. One, and one. What is with all these good teams? Conversation Welcome with back, Warner. Everybody. And you know, we were talking about some of the young players who've really caught my eye so far Sweet. to start this season. Oh. I'll tell you what, don't look any further than the backyard here and uh, in goal. I mean, this young yeah. goaltender has really been impressive. When you talk about yeah. best rookie so far, I mean, to me, he's right near the top of the list, if not the top of it. He has been brilliant. He's made some big saves. Really? But you know, what also impresses me is he sometimes goes long stretches without facing a shot, and he still stays mentally in it. That's really hard as a young goal. Okay, James, guess what? I've had enough of you. So I think I'm going to do the play one, sim one, so we can get through the season quick. So let's go ahead, jump into this game here against the Flyers. And see how it goes. 1-0. 3-1. 4-1. 5-1. 6-1. 7-1. 8-1. 9-1. 10-1. 11-1. 12-1. 13-1. 14-1. 15-1. 16-
Three one, 27 shots. Three three. Okay, fine. Some toi et toi action here in Pennsylvania. Couturier has it over the blue line. Goes for a move right off the bat. I got very lucky right there. And I am going to take it. Zegris is actually up there for the league leaders in goals. Again, small sample size. We're early on here. Still good. Oh, no. Another one. I just got it. Oh, get destroyed. Yeah, right. They've been watching their game tape. They knew I was going to fly and poke check. And there is still nothing they could do about it. Konechny goes behind the net. In front. Okay. Well, I mean, there's only so much I can do, guys. Only so much. We are not in against the Penguins. This will be a Gibson matchup. And I think it was an overtime loss. So that's fine. That's a point. Next up is the Arizona Coyotes, who are 6-1-1. and We are also not in for that. And it is also... Another overtime loss. 3-4-3, the company that took over Halo. The 8-1-1 Golden Knights. Can we get a break? I still cannot skip James when we're in here, but it looks like all I have to do is achieve an 890 save percentage and get one shutout on the year, and I get Sponge. So that is fire. The shutout might be tough. However, there's a lot of games. So I believe in us. You're playing the Golden Knights. How important are these matchups with divisional opponents? Um, they would be important if we were in the race. I mean, obviously, it's still early on. I'll keep saying that. But I don't think we're making the playoffs. If we do, sweet. Okay. Good record you got there. First place in the league. Last time we played the first place team in the league, we dummied them. Let's see if we get the same result here. Come on, Ducks. Tarasenko scores. Just three shots into the game. Things you don't like to see. And they score immediately to start the second. Martinez makes it a two-goal differential power play now. I don't even think they got a shot on that power play. But anyway, it is still a two-goal lead. And we need to get one. P. Bergeron. That's sus. We've got a hill to climb here. It's possible. I just want to try and get some damage control. <laughs> Look at that dumping. What is that? Stone goes behind the net. Like, yeah, the Golden Knights are going to be a top team for sure. So what's happening right now to me is expected. We are also taking another penalty. I mean, not another one. Our first one of the game, I guess. But the fact that we're already down by three... We shouldn't be doing this because we did take one during the sim and we got scored on and now we take one in the actual game Fowler muscling through Yeah, woo, <laughs> let's go. I don't know how this went in, but we just got a shorty And I am here for it Sam Carrick you legend Just rips one and yeah, I think it Went gloving in. He didn't quite get a hold of it. Nice. All right. Well, the lead's down to two. It's doable. Carlson. Oh, yeah, William Carlson. I was so confused for a second. Like, how on earth did they manage to get Eric Carlson? But no. Instead, it is that of Wild Bill. Chandler tries to pass it up the middle, and that will be picked off. And here goes Jamie. He's in over the line. Nice effort. I like the idea, but Chandler was not having it. First run. I got really lucky again. Wow. Save on the blocker. They have it still. I didn't do that. I did not do that. Okay? So I'm not sure why I hugged the left post there. I also, I think my teammate just attacked me in the background there. I tried to kind of reset in the, oh wow, yeah, it does just do that. Okay, never mind. I did it. It's just very touchy. <laughs> Come on, Frankie. Win that battle. Or not. Stone, over to March so. Loses it. And now Petrangelo has it. Where is this thing? It was a scramble in front of the net. But Braun came out with it. Now Troy Terry has it. In the corner. He's battling. Gets the pass off to Zegras. Let's go! A nice low shot, rebound comes out to Frankie, and he makes no mistake. It is back to a two-goal hockey game. 
Let's go, Ducks. Come on. Blocker save on Barbashev. Back to Theodore it goes. He tries to rip one, and I think Barbashev made the save for me. Appreciate it, man. Tara. Whoa. Whoa. That was up close and personal. Oh my goodness, I am getting all kinds of lucky right now. All right, we have a power play. This could bring it down to a one goal game. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, 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 yep. Yeah. 100%, 100% meant to do that. What a move, actually, by Scott. Let's reset here. Trevor, get another one and make this a 4-3 hockey game, pretty please. The goalie's down. He's scrambling. I think they just took another one, too. They did. And it was Petrangelo. This could happen. We got to smarten up, though. Also, what was that? Clean draw win. That's exactly what we needed. Nice keep, Jamie. I like the puck movement. But we haven't really got a great chance yet. Can't do anything. They're everywhere, it seems like. How? There's only three people. Oh. Nice try. The goalie's down and out again. Man is exhausted. Don't you di- Come on, guys. Unbelievable. Frankie. Had Byron with him. But again, not able to get anything going. You almost kept that. That would have been impressive. But instead, you lose the puck to them and chop a man's hand off. Attaboy, Jamie. White Cloud behind the net, and good goal. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Absolutely well played. All right, that should be the nail in the coffin. We are probably done now. Yeah, three minutes to go. And we had a five on three for a minute there and couldn't do anything. I say that the Mighty Ducks have found themselves an L, but you know what? It's okay. They were 10 one and one. And we were, what, 3, 4, and 3, I think? So, yeah. I do wonder, though, because, as I was saying in the previous videos, in Be a Pro, players go everywhere. Like, I don't know if it's so much in the first year, but eventually, Ovechkin will be on the Leafs, so will Crosby. McKinnon will be on the Leafs. It's just weird like that. So I'm wondering if we sort of bubble team it going into the trade deadline if they will go insane and just grab a bunch of players for a potential run bergeron not patrice though or maybe it is but why does he not have a picture because he's never 37 hmm only 31 shots what a joke oh do we we need to talk about how I've been playing so far. yeah it's garbage i'm aware gibson will be starting against the pity pens here can we get a win? Yes, we can. That is huge. All right, four, five, and three. Now we have Philly, and I don't even think about it. I'm going to do a full sim on this one. We also made a promise to the coach that we have to win two of the next four games. So I guess this is our first game starting, unless the game's bugging out. And for some reason, that one that Gibson started matters to us, which I'm down because he did win. All right, first period is a nil-nil draw. Second period is a 2-0 game for Philly. Third period, we get shut out. With 39 shots. That's crazy. Gibson against the San Jose Sharks. Looks like that was a regulation loss. Now we have Smashville. And we will be playing against them. We are 30th and they are 28th. What a matchup. If we are going to get a win, this is our chance to do it. How do they have 7 shots? Oh my word. All right, we are not off to a good start. Power play for the Ducks. We cannot capitalize. Smashville scored very early on in the second. And it looks like that might be the only goal. So yeah, so far we're averaging one goal a period. Once again, we are behind. And we need to climb a hill in order to come out of this game with a dub. Max, you didn't have to do me like that. You really didn't. I could have flying poke checked him, yeah. Obviously. Not a good start. I simply zigged when I should have zagged. And things went sour. What a pass from Tyson Berry. Up to Forsberg, who tries to find a guy in the middle, but Strom back checking picks it off. Jamie. 
Holy crap, that hit was insane. I don't know if that was a charge. Mason. Mason! The goalie stayed with him the whole way, but also... What was he even trying to do there? Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Get in the way of Rory, at least. All right, Silverberg. Guys. We do not have... <laughs> Our team's not good. We're just not. Trade me right now. Wow, a save. Didn't think I'd be seeing one of those ever again. What was that shot? Almost felt like I caught a pop fly. Here we go. Lundestrom shakes off his guy. Finds Fowler who lets one go. But the goalie denies him there. Henrique now with it. Down low. And back up high. Fowler again lets one fly, and that time the puck meets Irene. The amount of pressure that we have on these guys right now is insane. How did that one stay out? Let's just get one goal, all right? I think that is a fair ask. Almost. Philip Tomasino gets it to Domi. All right. Down low to O'Reilly. My positioning today has been nothing short of pathetic. The fact that they don't have more than four goals right now is a miracle on ice. Yes! All right. That time it works out. Shot from behind the net goes off the back of... I think they have Kevin Lankin in a net. It's a goal. So that's all I asked for. Nice try, Trevor. Oh, you would. I don't know, ref. That looked a little bit theatrical. Oh, dear. Not behind the net again. Forsberg. I'm throwing it out. I don't care. At this point, 10 minutes left. How is that not a penalty? That was like eight minutes too late. Duchesne really wants the shot. Okay. Oh, my word. We're getting destroyed. I had the guy that was going to shoot. I think that's my job as a goalie. That's usually what they say to do anyway. And someone was supposed to have the pass. But instead, they were both just standing there accomplishing, quite frankly, nothing. Let me get this. Let me get this. Yep. And okay. Yeah, right back to me. I agree. Strom is battling with Zegris and someone else. We did manage to win that one, which is... Probably a good thing, because there was three of us and only one of them. If you enjoy watching me suffer in net, then I think this is the season for you. Hopefully next season will be a lot better, but this one ain't it. I also really have to start thinking about doing regular poke checks again. Flying poke check, that's reserved for breakaways. But a regular poke check can be used in many scenarios. There we go. And I was actually getting pretty good with it last year, I think, but yeah. Are you pointing at, is it me? Pointing at me? So whenever they get up close, I need to consciously try to think about using that functionality. <laughs> oh, just get me out of here. Welcome to the NHL, Scotty boy. I'm at least glad that we are ending the episode on this horrific game rather than starting because that would just set the tone <laughs> under a minute ago. You just gotta get me out of here, honestly. I'm a little bit surprised I didn't get pulled, really. I don't know if they have a lot of shots or what, but they do have six goals. Duchesne to Fabro, gloved, and it has been thrown out. 10 seconds remaining. Wow. No, don't. They just want to delay this. We got absolutely rinsed. And the most brutal part is they were only two spots above us in the standings. Gibson's getting another go here against the Avs. And it is a win. Nice. All right. Flowrida is up next. We are once again not in. Probably for the best. That was a loss. St. Louis Blues. Not in. Gibson's getting a lot of starts here. And rightfully so. Because... Scott has been playing tragically. All right, the last game of the video we are going to simulate. And then we need to get out of here. And next video, we got to come in with a fresh slate because 
This one has not gone in my favor. To be fair, I did get a lot of lucky bounces and a lot of saves that I probably shouldn't have. So, you know, if we want to look at positives, and there's a positive, Silverberg scores before I even got to crank up the sim speed. But we're simming the whole game, so I'm just going to do this. one nothing, one nothing. A shutout! Yes! That better count. I swear if that does not count. Can you say more love? I want to see this. I'm seeing a lot of it on social media already. But he deserves more. I think it counts. Did you get your first... Yes, it does! Fire me up. Is a true sign as a young Fit in. I'm not promising. That you officially belong in the league right i, I don't mean, know about all that but so cool take the compliment i guess and some of those saves at the same time like there were some ones that i didn't went, see wow him. like there's a next level stop out there did that a few times and congratulations to promise that young failure man who's going to always remember this night oh as i'm sure a lot of people will with a very bright future no ahead. way uh and you know hey you also got to give some credit in front of them so we already got sponge. I just have to unlock the slot, yeah, I guess. Look at the way that the goaltending position is coming. Why that come in so aggressive? Where it, the state of goaltending now in today's NHL. You know, it's such a volatile position, but I think yeah, you know, sure they look is. Like they've got something here with him and the way he's played so far Seven, this ten, season. And three. You know, I think there was hope. I think there were some expectations to be the real deal. Oilers me, are struggling a bit. He looks exactly like the real deal. Love okay. the way that there's been nights he's bailed his team out. There's been nights he there hasn't seen a lot of action and has just looked calm and confident and focused when he doesn't see a lot of action. To me, I've been really impressed from what I've seen so far this season. And then no. when I look at the blue line, you know, one of the areas that kind of... No, no way! We already have an X-Factor and an ability. Okay. You've had your... Time to speak, James. It's mine now. We need to stay on this team for six years to get X-Ray. Don't see that happening. But anyway, how about that, though? We already have the Sponge X-Factor and the All or Nothing ability. We also have a Skill Tree Point. Let's go with our Blocker Low? Stick Low? Sure, why not? Purchase Trait. We're almost up to 83 in that now. 74 overall. I don't really have much I can buy yet with the salary perk, so I'm going to hold off. But yeah, let's have a look at some stats. Actually, before we look at anything else, I wanted to check the Golden Knights. Why does he not have a picture? Why is he 90 overall? <laughs> There's so many questions. Don't get me wrong, he deserves 90 overall. But he retired. So, <laughs> they usually... Bumped them down to like 70. I guess Be A Pro still has the weird thing where it takes not the default roster, but some random. I don't know if it's like the first roster or what. Trevor's point a game right now with nine apiece. And then we have Troy Terry, 16 points. McTavish, 15. It's not horrible. Even Fowler here with 13 as a defenseman. Can't be too upset about that. Goalies. Gibson, 904, 323. And then we have an 894, 359. We are 74 overall, okay? Give me a break. Tage is leading the league with 27 points. Kopitar right there with 25. And he has three less games played. So that is worth taking into consideration. Kyle Connor also has 25 and 20. Thatcher Demko right now with 13 wins and 902. But how about these guys? Jakey O and Allmark. A 932 apiece. All right, next episode, we have the Vancouver Canucks. That will be a game. They are fourth in the league. We are 26th, but maybe... We can pull off what we did at the start of this video with Columbus. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys as always. And yeah, I am happy to have the goalie be a pro back. Even if I am getting lit up like a Christmas tree back here. Man, I wish I could have done a whole season in Europe though. Those arenas were sick. Let me know how you're liking NHL 24 so far. I'll see you soon.